Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video we are going to learn about different types of continuous time signals. Okay, so different types of uh, continuous time signals. Okay, so the first one is, <coughs> sorry, so the first one is unit step function. Okay. So the first one is unit step function. So it is a uh, very useful signal in the analysis. So it is one of the useful signal in the analysis of systems. Okay, so it is the only stable signal or stable signal available in continuous time okay so it is the only stable signals available in the continuous time so we are going to use that signal in uh, finding whether the system is stable or not so we are going to use only this uh, unit step function so it is like a signal whose amplitude whose amplitude changes whose amplitude changes suddenly or abruptly and remains constant remains constant forever remains constant forever after the time of application after the time of application okay so it is like a signal whose amplitude changes suddenly changes suddenly and remains constant forever after the time of application okay so it is generally represented by u of t <coughs> u of t represents the unit step function so u of t and it is given by u of t is equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 is equal to 0 for t less than 0 so pictorially it is represented like this so this is u of t versus t so it will have a constant amplitude of 1 okay so at 0 its amplitude suddenly changes from 0 to 1 and remains constant forever after this instant that is after the application at t is equal to 0 its amplitude remains constant forever okay and there is sudden change in amplitude from 0 to 1 so this is like a it is like a signal whose amplitude changes suddenly or abruptly and remains constant forever after the time of application okay so this is called as unit step function and uh, shifted version so shifted unit step function that is it is shifted by uh, some value generally it is represented by u of t minus a this uh, this is called as time shifting so i'll discuss about time shifting in the next upcoming classes so uh, u of t minus a is equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to a is equal to 0 for t less than a that means instead of this u of t starting at t is equal to 0 now this unit step function will starts from a for all the values less than a its value is going to be 0 so it looks like uh, something like this so u of t minus a if you take the instant a here so its value is equal to 1 or its amplitude is equal to 1 from a so for all the values less than a its amplitude is 0 okay so this is called as shifted unit step function so uh, general application of unit step function is like uh, uh, a car ignition key so car ignition key so if you keep the key in the ignition uh, if you keep your car key in the ignition the engine should start and it should remain 
um, continuously it should remain in on state only until it is um, given again or triggered off again okay so in that case if you want to test the uh, engine of a car you can give this uh, step function as the input okay so this is about unit step function so next we will discuss about the second type of continuous time signal that is unit ramp function or unit ramp signal unit ramp signal or unit ramp function okay so it is generally represented by r of t it is generally represented by r of t unit ramp function is function which starts at starts at so it starts at t is equal to 0 and increases that is the unit ramp function increases linearly with time linearly with time okay so it increases linearly with time so it is represented mathematically as r of t is equal to t for t greater than or equal to 0 is equal to 0 for t less than 0 so pictorially with uh, r of t versus t is represented as a straight line passing through origin so the slope here is slope is equal to 1 so this is same as form y is equal to mx since slope is equal to so on the y-axis what we have r of t so we have r of t on the y-axis and slope is equal to 1 so m is equal to 1 and on x-axis we have the uh, time axis that is t so it is 1 into t which is equal to t so it is the equal to the uh, straight line passing through origin so y is equal to mx same form so r of t is equal to t so now it increases linearly with the time as time increases as time increases its value also increases linearly that is at uh, uh, t is equal to 1 r of t value is also equal to 1 at t is equal to 2 r of t value is also equal to 2 so at t is equal to 1 its value is equal to 1 at t is equal to 2 its value is equal to 2 at t is equal to 3 its value is equal to 3 and so on so it increases linearly with respect to time okay similarly the shifted uh, unit ramp function is represented by r of t minus a given mathematically as r of t minus a is equal to t for t greater than or equal to a is equal to 0 for t less than a so it also increases linearly but this linear increase instead of starting at 0 we now starts at a okay so that is the only difference between shifted shifted uh, unit ramp function and unit ramp function so next important thing is what is the relationship relationship between the unit step function and unit ramp function the two functions which we discussed in our in our video so what is the relationship between u of t and r of t so unit step function is obtained from derivative derivative of unit ramp function so unit step function is obtained from derivative of unit ramp function and similarly unit ramp function is obtained from integration from integration of the unit step function that means if you represent it mathematically the relationship between r of t and u of t so u of t so u of t is the derivative of r of t that is d by dt of r of t so u of t is equal to d by dt of r of t similarly r of t so r of t is integration of u of t so integral u of t dt okay so this is the relationship between the two standard signals which we have learned in this video so u of t is equal to d by dt of r of t and r of t is equal to integral u of t dt okay so hope you uh, you have understood the two basic signals 
if you like the video please share with your friends thank you